Global traders, we've got quite the video for you here today because you are going to learn all about syncing drawings globally on all of your chart layouts, which all starts and ends with having this button selected and ensuring that you see that the new drawings will sync globally icon is highlighted in blue. You saw how quickly we did that. It's all about finding the sync drawing options feature here, expanding the menu, and then clicking new drawings will sync globally. Now, before we really dive into this, let us remind you that we have made in-depth video tutorials about new drawings that will sync within a layout. That means if you have a specific layout open, how to sync drawings within all of the charts in these layouts, so draw on one and it will appear on all these. We've also made videos about managing all of your chart layouts. So if you are on this video and haven't yet watched those two, you might want to watch those as well to get the most comprehensive and complete understanding of all the all of the features you have access to as a TradingView member. Now let's go back to the fact that we have this global icon here selected. And if we hover our mouse over it, we can see new drawings are replicated to all charts in all layouts and shown when the same ticker is selected. So there's one key item here that we have to remind you of, and that is shown when the same ticker is selected. So we, we at the moment have GC1, this is gold futures open, and we have a five minute chart open. That's because we have made a layout specific specifically for short-term investing. Every time we open this layout, it's a five minute chart. You can see here, we have another layout called long-term investing layout, and that's a one month chart. So what we're going to do is on this five minute chart with our global syncing option highlighted, we are going to draw a horizontal line on this chart at an area where we think there's some interesting support to watch. And that area that we are going to select is the start of this run. So let's put it right about here. So we drew this on this five minute chart because you can see it sort of base sideways here for some time, and then the run began. And so with that being said, we want to see on a short-term time frame, what this level looks like and our long-term time frame. So now that we have our GC1 chart open, we have our horizontal line here on the chart. We can go back to our chart layout, open up the long-term investing chart, and you'll see here we now have the same horizontal line. It's been fully synced to our chart layout and check out how cool this is because we just did that analysis on a short term chart. It was a five minute chart, but we also have a layout with a different color scheme and it's one month. This layout, we generally keep it to one month at all times. That's why it's called the long term investing layout. Remember, you can do this as well. New layout button. Check out the videos on our YouTube channel or read our help center. But nevertheless, our drawing has synced across the two layouts. And how cool is this? This level is actually rather significant going back to 2020. It's even someone significant going back to March of 2022. While it didn't quite hit the same level, you can see how close it got. So what we just did there are two different forms of analysis on two different chart types. And it works because we have new drawings will sync globally on and we have the same ticker on both charts layouts. So this is just a remarkable feature for the traders who want to get more advanced, especially if they have built a really nice chart layout process for themselves and want these drawings to sync. In addition, if you don't want drawings to sync, well, you can just make sure this is turned off. So it's off. And now that you've got it turned off, well, let's just say, for example, on this chart, we want to add a, why don't we go ahead here and let's just add a sort of trend line here. And we'll try to make this trend line on a short term time frame basis, just cutting through these wicks. So let's go ahead and do that, cutting through those wicks. So we've done that. But remember, we, ha we don't have the global syncing feature on. So let's now go back to our short term investing layout. And what you'll observe here is we still have our horizontal line that we initially drew, still on the chart but the trend line we just drew is not there. So now you're probably starting to understand how you can use this feature among your layouts, specifically if you get really good at adding specific drawings 
that you want on the chart, or maybe unselecting it to not have those drawings selected globally on your charts. So with that being said, you now have the basics of this feature. In between our other video that shows you how drawings sync within a layout, and now new drawings will sync globally, you now have all of the data tools and information that you need to go get started with these two features. But before we head out of here, we want to actually show you one more sort of advanced aspect of this tool. And that aspect is, let's say in our long-term investing layout, we actually had four different charts open. In this case, we have a monthly chart. This one will be a weekly chart. This one is going to be a three-month chart, so quite long-term. And this one is quite literally going to be a 12-month chart, a yearly candlestick chart. That's right. This is about as long-term as it gets. So we now have this four-chart, multi-chart layout created. We've got it saved here. We've got a perfect situation for our needs. Now, where this is rather fascinating is that when you turn on your new drawings will sync globally feature, and recall, we have four charts in our long-term investing layout. And if we decide to draw another piece of research or analysis or technical analysis, anything of your sort, let's draw another horizontal line. In fact, let's even change this color so you can really see how this works. Let's do blue. Let's make the line rather thick. And let's even do a dashed line so we can't miss it and click OK. So what we've done now is we've drawn this dashed line just as another form of support that we might watch based off of these levels here. But let's return back to our long-term investing layout. Recall we had four charts and you're going to notice something right away. We have these dotted lines going across all charts of every single time frame that we added. So that's right. You are correct. These drawings not only sync just to the one chart you might have in, in your chart layouts, but if you have multiple charts within your chart layout, it will also sync across those. And to remind you about this sort of all-in-one feature, so we have this on, let's go ahead and take our trend line and let's draw this trend line and now click. What you can see now is that the drawings even still synced across our multiple chart layout. See the trend line? The trend line appear here. So for example, watch the color of this trend line here when we change this trend line. So let's go ahead and change it to red. Let's exit out. Now the trend line is red on every chart. Now let's even go back to our short-term investing layout. Let's make sure this is saved though. We have auto save on. Let's go back to our short-term layout and see if that red line is here. And what, what's important now about this feature, there's the red line, is that because your time frames are often going to be quite different when doing this, or maybe in your layouts you have different views, different scales, because after all, your price scales could be different, the text could be different sizes, always make sure you reformat your chart and give, your chance, give yourself a chance to find the drawings that you're looking for. So you saw what we just did there. We knew that the red line was synced because we have our syncing feature turned on globally. So we just had to adjust our scales a little bit to find that same red line that we drew. And the reason why this might be helpful to you is that now you can see what this looks like on a very short-term time frame process. And you can continue to change your time frames and this will follow you wherever you go. Let's go ahead and go back to our long-term layouts to see how everything looks. Every drawing that we've done in this video is right here. We can adjust them, edit them, do anything as we need. And recall, this is just one example of doing multiple time frame analysis using the new drawings will sync globally feature. But this same demonstration we gave you can apply to all of the interesting creative or analytical ideas you have, whether it's asset class based, strategy based, technical analysis based, time frame based. It's all in your hands once you get started and understand the basics of this feature. The last point we want to remind you about is that it's symbol specific. So if, for example, this chart was actually Apple up here, so now we have Apple here. Well, if we draw on Apple, so we drew this line on Apple, let's make it a 
color that we just can't miss. So you can really make sure you can confirm that this doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to extend it right, extend it, extend it left and right, add a middle point and price labels. Let's add everything just so that you really know what's going on here, what we're trying to demonstrate. Always show stats. Okay. So we've added this line now to Apple, but recall this is gold, gold, gold. So this drawing is not going to sync. They are entirely different symbols. So always remember that the syncing feature specifically works for the same symbol. You can't, in this example, draw on Apple and expect that drawing to appear on gold. It must be on the same symbol. And to add to that, even though we have the new drawings will sync globally feature turned on here, let's go back to our short-term layout which is still on gold, recall, but we did just draw an apple, you'll see there's no purple line here that we just drew. So always remember that we actually do get that question from time to time. It is symbol specific, so it must be attached to the exact same symbol. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, is a full walkthrough and tutorial of new drawings that will sync globally. And as mentioned earlier, because this is an important way to end the video, we have an in-depth video demonstration about new drawings that will sync in the layout. Go watch that, check out our help center, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we also have made videos about managing all of your chart layouts, including walking you through why we even have the long-term investing layout in the first place, or the short-term investing layout. We actually show you why we made those and how those work. So if you watch this video and want to learn more about managing your chart layouts, go to our help center, go to our YouTube page. We've got a full walkthrough of how this also works. But without further ado, the point of this video, the conclusion is that you now know how to use new drawings will sync globally. It all starts right here. Ensure that the button is highlighted when it turns on. Make sure you have a nice layout here that is organized and easy to follow and then you're off to the races you can begin we look forward to seeing all of the unique interesting and creative ways you use this feature thank you for watching